Um, He's gone off the rails. PWCC right, weekly real talk. auction. Real talk. <laughs> PWCC, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm only going to give you three of these cards because you can... I'm sick of getting outbid on this crap. Well, hang on, because we're not going back to back all your cards. I was going to go back and forth. So let's start with yours, though. How about that? Let's start if with If you this. are looking for Ken Griffey Jr. cards, okay, there are more this week than I've ever seen in a weekly. There are some ridiculous high-end inserts. Uh, I'm high bidder on a couple that I'm not going to talk about. Why? Tell well, us why. Because I want to win, oh, win one okay. of them. Um, <laughs> well, though, there's one of them you got up to. Like, this one actually is a cheapie. 1999 Finest. Uh, it's the Hank Aaron Award. So he's in the background, Griffey's in the front. It's a refractor. Okay. A BGS 9.5. I don't think this is more than like a $100 card. I wouldn't guess. But it might be a couple hundred bucks. I, I haven't really looked it up. I like this card a lot. You don't see it often in that high of a grade. There's an Atomic Old School Bowman's Best Refractor that's ridiculous. If you just search Griffey in the weekly, it is by... There's actually... I'm not going to bid on it because it's insanely expensive. There's a 9.510 Original Rookie Auto to the upper deck. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, there's some. There's actually some pretty awesome. I always just search the same thing every week. Griffey, Bird, Brady. All right. Griffey, that's cool. But how about a card from 1988? I know it's a ridiculous card. It is a Birds of America, Allen and Ginger card. But it's from 1888. I think that's awesome. The fact that I'm currently high bidder on this. I'm high bidder, as I said earlier, on a number of these cards. They're just weird or just obscure. You buying this for my mother? Oh, she would kind of love that, wouldn't she? She likes birds. Well, I actually am high better on two of them, both from 1888. So, well, she listens to the show, so I hope you're buying one of them for her. <laughs> there, there's a chance. I think there's a chance Ellen might get one of these cards if I get one. Uh, you but need to I, give out her name, the, the sicko. <laughs> uh, the 1988 <laughs> Allen and Ginter Birds of America cards are up. Um, the next one you had was the 1998 Flare Showcase, Griffey. Well, this is the row zero. That's number to 250.95. This is a massive card. Like, I think this is still well into the four figures. Uh, there's this, and there's the Bowman's Best International Atomic Refractor 10. I would like to win one of these big ones. You just, the Griffey stuff, the number stuff in the 90s, high grade doesn't come up all the time. I, I would like to see this be mine, but we'll see. Well, we're going to post the other thing. all of this on YouTube as well. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, but anyways... All, if you want to know what these cards actually look at look like, you can check them out on there. Are you high bidder right now, did you I'm say? I'm high bidder on a bunch of these right now. Okay. Uh, my hope is that some of these fall through the cracks because there are so many. Well, There's so many high-end Griffies. I'm like, maybe one or two of these fall to me. There was also, I think I mentioned last week, I didn't see as many non-sport cards, but there's so many. That's why I have so many bids uh, I'm high bidder on right now. I only list, I'm only showing on here a few of them because there's one or two that I, like, I don't want anyone to see. There's your boy. Luke. So I I won a few auctions back a uh, Harrison Ford one of these. Is this the card, by this the way? This is a sticker. So this is a this oh. card that we're looking at is a 1977 Top Star Wars sticker of Luke Skywalker. Um, right now I'm high bidder. Max the, bid is thirty five dollars. I noticed. Yeah, the Harrison Ford one. Right there. Yeah. You. Why did you? You don't have. Well, to it's on the it show. Out. I know, but I mean, by the time this video comes out, I'm hoping this. Actually, I may put it up right before this auction ends, but. Anyway, um, yeah, I am max bid. Now I'm going to have to change that. Anyway, that's what I'm looking for because there's also this. I guess everyone else saw the sale of the Luke Skywalker. So there's think, so many. You think everything's going to go crazy? I, I don't think it's going to go crazy, but I do think it's going to give a bump. Are you buying this to I'm, flip or are you buying this to keep? I, I'm buying it to keep because I've got, like I mentioned, the um, Harrison Ford. Han yeah, Solo. but Han Solo. That's why I, I couldn't think of Han's name. All right, then your last one was I already this, talked about the this. Bowman's best one. Yeah, that's fine. Another just Savage Griffey, the 97 best atomic. Here's the other card that popped out to me this week, too. And again, I'm hoping there's just fatigue, and so I'm able to actually get it. Uh, I, there's been one of these every week we've talked about this, I feel like. This one's a PSA 10. Mm -hmm. Well, auto grade 10. PSA 6 grade for the card. The Bird Magic Dr. J Rookie. It's a 610. I Every week, though, there's been either a five or a seven that is sold. Yeah. At some point, there has to be, like, just buyers like, oh, I'm taking a week off. Yeah, exactly. Again, I'm kind of just hoping this falls into my lap. I am wondering if there's, like, just guys out there who are like you trying to go after just that card. It could because it's a, it's a savage card. And honestly, too, like, the price they charge to sign cards now, mm -hmm. like, if you have that card, it costs you a 1000 bucks just to send it to all three people to sign. Oh, that's Like, fair. it's insanely expensive, so... 
Um, I'd like to add one now because I don't think we're at the bottom of the market, but I do think we're close. Yo, what is this nonsense? That's, well, that's exactly what Who it is. Who is but Boris Becker? Again, just another. I, you know what? I'm glad you said that because I felt like bad after I Googled him. I thought he was a he, tennis player. He is a tennis player. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hang He's on. A Who's tennis the player? Virginia Lang? L E N G? Virginia Lang. Is she a jockey? She is a she equestrian. She rides horses. Oh, they but not jump like, crap. Yeah, exactly. Not race them. Yeah, not racing. Hey, so, can a fee? What do you call a female horse racer? Is that a jockey? A jockey? Maybe I don't know. She is races. Uh, she does equestrian riding. I did not know that was a thing. I figured I would like to say I own a horse uh, or a a card in the sport of dressage. Is that is that just equestrian riding? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm asking. Who am I asking here? I apologize. Look at this card, though. This I'm is the sure last why one. Still talking. <laughs> what is the connection between them two? I don't know. It was just Panini, I guess, back in 1987. It, they called it the Super Sport Stickers. I'm assuming okay. there's a lot of other ones that are just weird sports. I mean, great of, tennis isn't that weird. A couple but. of lookers on that card, I'll tell you. <laughs> what? They look fine. They look like normal people. He looks like the guy from uh, uh, Partridge Family. What's wrong with being redheaded? Your son's yeah, redheaded. I'm worried he's going to be a little ginger. <laughs> little nervous. Uh, and Whoa. then this one. Whoa. So Darren Ravel has a card in a, some, a company called Gas. Made a series called Nerds Rule. And it's a picture Dude, of look Darren at Ravel hair. with the biggest fro I've ever seen on a kid. The hair is as, t is as long as his face is. It's an auto out of 100. I am current high bidder at $13. Do not take this away from me, please. I need this as a talking piece next time we talk to him. I don't him. know. He spelled his name with two R's. Okay. Anyway, um, that is a, a glimpse of what I'm actually buying. Now, I will mention. You win that. You're sending it to him to sign and inscribe to send already, back to you. He already signed it no, once. No, no, no. SCN. I think it's on card. Um, there is actually one other thing I was going to mention. Uh, this is the first time I am selling something. It's not in this lot. The weekly auction that we've been talking about is weekly auction 96. Weekly auction 97 apparently starts in like eight hours from now. And I'm selling that Cam Newton card. Nope. The Cam uh, Thomas card. Okay. Thank you. I can't and believe you know who Cam Newton is. Yeah. the He was on the Pats for a little bit, right? I don't care for this. <laughs> I love sports. They love me. Anyway. Let me ask you a question. Thomas. How did this work? You won the card on PWCC. So this I was going to say, this is like just a brief plug. I mean, granted, all no, you no, can do say it, all of this is Because I've plug, never actually done this, and I'm curious. It was so... That's why I kind of like, like we, we work with them, not because they, they pay us. That's a great happenstance. But it's because they're paying. Them. But it is also because it is such a good platform. And the fact that I could just buy this card one week, and I think I got it for like 17 bucks, and then turn around. All I had to do is just say, I want to sell this card. It already had all the details in there. and It was just like, like select a vault, though, at first, like instead of shipping it to yourself. Yes, it was already in my vault. So that, that's why it was easy. And then you just hit list. And then I just hit list. And then I got a notice, like, in the next few days, like, hey, we're listing it in this auction. Were you trying to find the worst time to sell this? Isn't he hurt right now? I listed the, I hit list, and then the next day I got a notice. That Can you was, not change it? I don't think after that point. But See, I would, here's the thing. That card is still, because he's only going to be out for a few weeks. It's not like the entire season or anything. Sure. You paid seventeen. Uh, yeah, I paid like seventeen bucks. I is know a, I'm gonna make more on that. Is there a? Uh, do you get one hundred percent of the sale price? It's just because there's a buyer premium, not a seller fee. I right? honestly have not looked into that. At I'm all. Almost, I probably should. At I'm this almost point. positive you get one hundred percent of the gross. That's awesome. Because okay, the buyer pays the BP. Yeah, that would make. Yeah, that would um, make sense. So. Actually, it's funny you say that. I've never done that before. I've never vaulted anything actually before. Um, so, I would this time because like those, like some of those Griffies, you don't have to pay tax, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, so if, if I got win a card shift. for two thousand bucks, I got to pay nine point five percent. Yeah, for like Tennessee, two hundred bucks. Maybe I just keep it in the vault. What if I go and pick it up out of the vault in person? I don't know if that's an option, but these are all good questions. Well, we're working with them, aren't you? <laughs> these are good questions. Dial up Alicia, uh, Allison, uh, Alicia. I don't know. Alice, got it. There, uh, there you go. That's your PWCC weekly auction. I hope that card Check sells. Check it for, out. I hope that card sells for like six bucks. And like, subscribe, and follow. There. That, that's for everybody who just who listened right, to, the to the podcast. Yeah, back to the podcast.